this up. These are actually for these motors. You're supposed to buy a special thing. I'll figure something out. But anyway, but that one and this one, I took them apart to get them in the car. These are fiberglass blades with uh, reinforcement or something in there. And this, this is like a flexible plastic. So. Got these at the auction. They didn't know what they were. You guys will. I paid twelve dollars and some odd cents for them, both of them. And these blades alone, these twenty-nine inch blades, these are twenty-eights, but they're twenty-nines probably anyway. Uh, are nineteen dollars a piece. So right there's one hundred twenty dollars. Then the plate. This end is a lighter plate. There's lighter blades. And this is a 316th plate, probably. But we're going to try to set it up. I might set it over here on this, uh, the burner thing just to see if I can get it to work. I'll show you in a couple minutes if I can get it to work. At least spin and give me some power. Okay, I spun it by hand, just to see, because there ain't no wind. Look, <laughs> and it's just strapped down, but I'm going to see, let's see how bad the blades are, off balance. And if they're off balance a little bit, you can, you actually can put a washer or two in there. Now this is barely on the shaft, so that's one volt and it's barely moving. But I believe it goes that way. So I might have to take the blade off and turn it around. You guys know more than I would. I know on my motor it's got to go that way, so let me change and see. Spinning around backwards. I can feel the wind over here, but I don't have anything to really mount this yet. I'm gonna have to make something. And the wind coming this way, don't want you don't want it that way, you want it going this way, so I'll have to watch a couple videos and see because the way I got the polarity on this is if I spin it this way it's a plus if it spins the other way it's a minus it's still getting voltage but it's a minus and this would this would suck air in Maybe that's the way it's supposed to go, because cause this way, it'd be pulling air out. I don't know if it's supposed to push air in or not. But I did, did, I did the errors because this was the plus side. And that's the minus. If anybody knows, let me know. Let me switch that back around. Yeah, I'd come out on, on where it's a little more windy. Because right now we're getting very slight breeze and it looks like it's going... Okay, I put the white blades on. They don't fit back over the shaft, but it's the same thing. It fits to the shaft. I put a little rubber washer so it's... Uh, right in and it fits right on the piece perfectly, so... And when had it move on a little bit. And if it goes this way, if that's the way it's supposed to go, it's the right. I I figured out if I take 
these and switch these. Let's see if I can do it while you guys are here watching. So you see I'm not fooling. Now, I had them backwards. Now I'm going to put black to black. And red to red. Try and do this one handed. And I spin it. It's actually one spin that way. Let's see. Now, that is the right way. But if I spin it the other way, it makes the minus. But if you turn the black and the red around, it actually plus it a plus it so we just gotta wait till a gust comes through and see if it starts spinning and which way it wants to go but right now we got a little bit right here is a lot it feels up here but I gotta get it put on something I'm gonna try to put it up there but I don't I think if it spun around it'd probably hit but right here right here is tons of air I can feel it where it's setting it's none need to make something even if it's out of cheap two by fours or something like actual windmill base or something you can see it trying to turn it's trying to turn this way So, if it's trying to turn this way, let's see if it's going the right way. Now, that's minus. Now, let's give it a good spin. It's not really spinning several fast. No. By hooking them up backwards... Now it's plus, going that way. These are nice blades, but they're hard plastic or fiberglass, and they need fixed. What I mean by that, some painted over them. They put the numbers, I put all the numbers back, but you got to make sure everything's balanced and all that stuff. But like I said, man. Even right now, it's a little teeny breeze here. Not much, but. Alright, if anybody knows how they actually work, if they're supposed to be that way or flipped around. I know that one's supposed to be that way. With curve, but on this one, in here, if anybody knows, does it go this way? Or. It's supposed to be flip this round. This way. These got some marks in them, but I can see. Right here. I can take 600 grit sandpaper and go over them. And take care of them. And I like them because they're flexible. The other ones are hard. So, all right. Well, that's what I got today, so I'm glad I got the one that for like $12, $12 and say $12.80. So if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down, at least watch one. Please subscribe, and bye till later. Thanks for watching.